the type of spot you ever want to leave, but we got a nice little overnight downwind through to Matuku to make up for yeah, it. Yeah, definitely, and we were asked by the chief in Falanga to take Bali and Alfredi with us to Suva. It was pretty cool having them on board too. Matuku and Falunga are only separated by 100 nautical miles, but they're totally different. The rugged steepness of Matuku made it the perfect place to bust the mountain bikes out. There's a few waves kicking around on Matuku. We managed to sneak into a couple at this super shallow left hander. such a good free diving and snorkeling spot just inside the wave on Matuku. Getting through the tunnel at about 12 metres deep was pretty intense. I was glad I came out the other side. going on in Rome's galley tonight? Bali's teaching us how to make roti because we've tried a lot of times and never got it quite right. So now we have an expert teacher showing us how to do it. Excellent. <laughs> and he's taking special notes. <laughs> Hiding in the dark. <laughs> what do you think of our rolling pin? We've been selling them, we haven't got them yet. It's a bit different. I was wondering if we were adding wine to the roti. Ah, <laughs> that's what we were doing wrong all this time. <laughs> I like the wine. wine <laughs> ah, that one looks perfect. Look at those. Look at that, Andy. Bubbles. What are you doing, Liz? Uh, we're just making uh, some pizzas so that Alfredi and Bali can experience a little bit of Italian. <laughs> Italian cuisine. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. That's the uh, that's how we trade for passages in Fiji. One, yeah. ti one ticket for yeah. two people. <laughs> for longer to yeah. Suva. It's an amazing couple. No, Thank you, Alfredi. It's beautiful, amazing. Beautiful. 
Cava Bowl. Oh, 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 and thank you for what I'm free. Let's yeah. go to Suva. Let's get the Cava. Yeah, <laughs> From Matuku, we enjoyed a nice downwind overnight passage to Suva, where we said goodbye to friends, Alfredi and Bali, and restocked our provisions. Please don't touch my papaya. Given the chance, I go for it. One step at a time. Hey! So, we're currently on the way to see my parents. They've come over to visit. So, Woo! sailing round to Manuya Bay. And of course, we must have bubbles for Miss Holly's birthday. Yoga bubbles. Yoga and champagne because that's how you maintain balance in life. That's the only way to do a birthday. <laughs> and a coin. Yeah, a fork, because it's an English thing. It's good luck. Yeah. And then what happens still? You keep it. I've still got my, I've got quite a problem with every birthday present I've been incredible birthday and Team Rome got me the most unforgettable present. Mike, Michael and I went shark diving at the world-renowned Aquatrek dive site where we got to see tons of sharks feeding only meters away. Clever. Oh. Wow. Woo -hoo -hoo. Well done. Good job. What are you up to, Holly? I am splicing some rope for our new anchor bridle because we snapped it in the middle of the night last night, which was a bit of a surprise at midnight. So I'm making us a new one by splicing some nylon rope together. And then we're going to go splice it onto the uh, rings at the front. So we're now just off frigates. We've just left Lingo Lagoon. We were on our way to Tabuni, but saw our frigates had a couple of waves on the way past. So we'll stop in, have a quick surf, and then keep going. Yeah.
Taviuni, um, but we had perfect conditions to be able to get out to Banabalabu. It was perfect for my parents to be able to see such a unique place. Dalconi Village got totally pumped by Cyclone Winston. The aid organisations like UNICEF and Australia Aid have done a lot of work here, resupplying the school. The building works are still ongoing. We were able to visit the village and leave our own little contribution. So we are in Banabalavu. We've just gone into the village to do the Sevu Sevu ceremony. Now this is driving and we're heading to a tiny little anchorage we can hopefully sneak into called the bathtub. We'll see how it goes. Whoops. And that is how I wrecked my drone, but it's my birthday coming up. So aerial shots in remote locations will resume shortly. Meanwhile, we've just started a YouTube channel. We're posting our videos there and Vimeo now, so you can uh, check them out in whichever format you like better. If you enjoyed what you watched then, all our old videos are online, so feel free to check out those and give us a like and a share if you enjoy, and don't forget to follow our channel. Yo. Cheers, mate. <laughs>